welcome and welcome back in today's video i'm going to share with you how to add double integrals and triple integrals or basically multiple integrals in your latex or overleaf project previously we did a video on how to include integrals and product sequence in your latex or overleaf project but i'm going to leave the link in the description box below we're going to add two integral symbols in our overleaf project so we do backslash i n t as a symbol for integral again we do backslash i n t when we compile these are the two integral symbols that we get but is this the correct way to display your double integrals in your overleaf or latex project so let's try this we do begin equation end equation we try out another one so we do backslash i i n t so if you want to include double integrals in your overleaf, what you do is you type I I N T. I I N T gives you the correct way of adding double integrals in your LaTeX project. So when you compile, this is what you get. As you can see, when you do two single integrals, you have space there. And then when you do the I I N T, this is what you get. There is no space in between. So this is the correct way to display your double integrals in your LaTeX project. But to achieve this, you need to have the package AMS Math. Otherwise, you won't be able to achieve this. Let's try this. So we can hide this. We can just do percent. When you add percent at the beginning of the sentence, that means whatever is after this is not going to be displayed. So you do percentage there. And then when we compile, you see that these, the ones that we just typed int int, they will, they will be displayed. But where you have to include multiple integrals, that is not going to be displayed. So you always have to make sure that you have this package AMS math. So let's remove the percentage there. And then when we compile. So now our double integral is displayed now we try the triple integral so we can do i i i n t to get the triple integrals and this is what we get we have nicely displayed triple integrals there we can also include the region of integration so we can do underscore and then we do r when we compile even for this one the double integral we do underscore and then r and compile when we compile this is what you get so now if we want to put stacked limits where the limits are below the integral signs so what you do is you do backslash you do backslash then you type limits r Even for this one, what you need to do is you do backslash limits. So this is the command, and then when you compile, you expect the error to come below here as a stacked limit. Okay, so now let's try an example now where you have to put limits on individual integral symbols. So we do begin equation and end equation there in this case now what you need to do is to type single integrals because you need to put a limit here and you also need to put the limit on the second integral so what you need to do now is you do backslash int and then we are putting the limits underscore so from one to three and then you write another int underscore so we say we integrate from 2 to 4 and then the function that we are integrating is let's say 9x 9x cubed y squared 9x so cubed and then y squared so dy dx We compile 
you see this beautiful mathematical equation that we get so for the triple integral we do begin equation and end equation and then in between there we write our equation so we are going to write our triple integral the way we can display it so we do backslash we use i i i n t we leave a space and then we are integrating f of x comma y comma z then we do dx dy and dz so this is how you display triple integrals in your overleaf project thank you for your attention bye bye